last night at 10, consumer expert Amy Davis explained a new trend in the pet industry where pet shops sign customers up for lease agreements, a lot like you would lease a car, but with a living, breathing animal. Yeah. Well, this morning, Amy's back. She's got more troubling revelations about the financing deals unassuming customers are now stuck with, Amy. Yeah, you know, so if it wasn't bad enough that these customers signed up for leases and were leasing their puppies, paying more than double the sales price for the animals, we learned pet stores are locking them into two loans for one animal. It's just outrageous. It's just too much money. 130% interest. That's how much Anjanette Marcano was paying on one of the loans for her new English bulldog she named Roy. At the end of two years, she would have paid more than $1,700. But that was only part of the financing she signed up for through Pets R Us in Huffman. After seeing the store's Facebook page advertising payment plans with no deposit, Marcano contacted the pet store. They texted her a link to apply for a loan, and once approved, she drove to the store with questions. I want to see the interest rate. I want to see, you know, all the information on the financing. She said, oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to answer all your questions at the end. Marcano says she didn't see those details until the financing companies emailed her the two contracts. Her primary loan was actually a lease with My Pet Funding for $3,000, the maximum the company would approve. By the end of it, Roy would cost her 7400 bucks. The remainder of the dog was financed through EasyPay, making his total cost almost $9,200. This is unusual. This is different from pretty much anything that I, I've ever seen. Consumer attorney Robert Johnson says new pet parents who don't pay the full amount could lose more than just their dog. You're going to end up taking a hit on your credit and potentially getting sued for the remainder of of the debt. Pets R Us signed Kia McNeil up for a second easy pay loan for more than $1,700 on top of her $7,600 lease. McNeil says on paper, store employees claimed the loan was for pet supplies, but she never received any. She said it was to cover the remaining portion of her dog that the lease wouldn't cover. Oh, it's for the supplies when it's actually his cost split into two. So the owner of Pets R Us wouldn't talk with us on camera, but the attorney for the company told us that the store does sometimes split the cost of a dog between two financing companies, and some companies allow it. It turns out Marcano's double financing contracts were not allowed by the leasing company, and so her contracts were canceled when she complained. Imagine how many people they're getting away with, though, with this. Yeah, I mean, and people who, who haven't complained about mm -hmm. it, but they say they didn't realize it in store for whatever reason. They were yeah. too bowled over by the pet, I want a new puppy, they weren't carefully they didn't stop and say no wait yeah. I'm not sending anything else until you show me these the terms. emotion of so going that's through really what you the, should do have we heard of any dogs getting confiscated or anything no like so that? we I asked mean, the leasing companies and, and I don't think to date that they have comp they have retaken, retaken or repossessed any yeah. pets what the contract says they say well we try to work with the customer I mean what they're interested in is your money sure. and they'll put it on your credit but in the end nobody wants a two-year-old dog I mean they're not yeah. as valuable yeah. as they were when they were puppies sure Taking quite the hit yes. on that. Huh? Yeah. Like, and adopt. Uh, we've got yes. so many comments I mean, that people say, just adopt, don't shop. That's what I do, Humane yeah. Society, right. SPCA, yeah. whatever. Sure. Thank you, Amy. Great story.